Okie doke. So, um, hi, you guys. Um, just for those of you who don't know me, which I think all of you do, I see lots of familiar faces. Uh, my name is Melissa Hudgens, and I am one of the top leaders here for Fit Legacy. And I just want to say Happy New Year. Um, normally, I would kick off this call with like a New Year's hat and everything, but I'm just going to full on admit I am struggling with some jet lag today. Um, this pillow right here is looking really good. So as soon as this call is over, I will be going to bed. I tried to like put on a little makeup and not look so tired, but I gave up. Um, I just got back from Africa yesterday and it was a fantastic, just unbelievable trip with my son Bryson and um, I would do it all over again. It was so, so fun, but um, it always kind of kicks my butt when I return. And it was over the new year. And I was talking to someone today and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it's January 8th and I'm already feeling like overwhelmed and a little behind because January is such an amazing month for our business. But I decided that, you know, I was like owning that feeling and that's a feeling that I cannot own. I can say, no, I've got the whole year to do amazing things with my business. Uh, Beachbody's given us some incredible tools this year that can really make a difference. And so I'm not going to let that overwhelmed feeling of it being January 8th and I'm behind take over my business. I know that it's going to be a great year for me personally, and I know it's going to be a great year for you too. So I want to talk about a few things. I have some notes, so let me pull them up. Uh, da, da. <clears throat> so there's, a, there's some amazing new changes. One of them is the Elite and premier qualifications. They've changed a few things on that. I did put in a graphic last week while I was on vacation um, of the changes and how it can affect you. And um, if you haven't ever gone for Elite or Premier, I would really encourage you to push yourself and go for that. Especially if you're a veteran coach and you've been in this business for a little while, you know, put that as a goal, you know, step up your game a little and be like, you know what, I'm definitely gonna push for that. Um, if you don't, you know, if you don't make that, you have totally improved your business and, um, and you can also qualify for the new, what is it? The new leadership conference at the end of the year, which is always like a backup plan, which is super fun. So I'm not going to go over the qualifications for that because I did post that graphic in the elite page. I mean, uh, in the, um, Fit Legacy page, and um, if you have questions, tag me under it and say, hey, can you explain this a little more? And I'd be happy just to do like a live video on that, um, that training specifically. Another thing that I noted here was Kim Carver, he's one of the top like business trainers for Beachbody. Um, I would first suggest that you follow him on YouTube. Kim, K-I-M, Carver, C-A-R-V-E-R, and just type that in with Beachbody after it, and his, his page will pop up for YouTube. And just, you know, subscribe to his channel because he's always posting great trainings. And next week, he is going to be posting um, a reverse engineering training on how, what you need to do each month to hit elite by the end of the year. And those trainings are always really good. He's, he's a great trainer for that. So um, I will grab that YouTube video when I see it. Oh, it is C-I-M. You know what? I don't know why I said K because that's why I spelled it out for you was because it was different. And I said the common name K. It's C-I-M. Thank you. Um, geez. See, it's the jet lag. I'm just going to blame it on that. So um, that'll come out next week. I'll grab the YouTube as soon as I see it for you guys. If someone else sees it first, please feel free to grab it and pop it over. 80-day um, obsession. Okay, so the coach test group is ginormous, and we had a feeling it would be, but that doesn't mean it's going to um, be insane and crazy. I really think that they are going to um, make sure that Autumn's posts are highlighted. She's going to be coming on daily and talking to us and helping us, explaining the nutrition, and all this starts on the 10th, so two more days. I do want to let you know, I know there's some of you who um, have coaches who have not been in, accepted into the group. Um, you can definitely call coach relations and let them know like, hey, my coach, and, and be prepared to give the coach's name and coach ID. 
and they will add it to you know a list that they'll it'll push it'll their, their name will get to the top of the list so that they do get pushed in um, they're working through this as quickly as possible but there are some names that fall through the cracks and so we want to make sure that you that your coaches who have signed up to be in this test group do indeed get in the test group um, she starts posting in in two days like I had mentioned so um, but the group officially kicks off on the 15th um, I'm just kind of going through here also it's not too late so if you have coaches um, whether they're discount coaches builder coaches you yourself haven't gotten in the group yet I want to make sure and looking at these names I feel like many of you do know this but you can get into this test group for as little as 3750 by buying the accessory bundle so um, you know it's it's a great way to feel really connected and included in this community. It's a great way to be motivated on a daily basis. Her whole thing is just to make sure that you finish this program. And if you commit to finishing, you will see results. And um, all the great content that you're gonna be able to get directly from her, you can then push through to your challenge group all through the year. I want to remind you guys again, just because we're starting on January 15th for this group, doesn't mean you can't run your own challenge group with a whole new group starting on February 1st or March 1st or even September 1st. Um, I don't want you guys to think that once we roll out a new program and you do it once, you set it aside or push it to the back. You don't have to do that. You can do... Um, you can do a, a T25 group, or you can do a, a turbo fire group. You know, we have amazing programs, and I just want you guys just to remember all that we have in our workout library. Um, going through my notes again. So I'm really excited about the 2B Mindset um, program that's coming out. I find it really interesting how they're going to roll this out because it will not be part of Beachbody On Demand. It will have a total separate website. It is video based. And it's for those people who are not quite ready to jump into a workout program and um, kind of picture like Weight Watchers in a way. How Weight Watchers really isn't all about the exercise. They promote exercise and they say how it's healthy and, and the more you do, you get more points or whatnot. Well, this is all about mindset and saying yes to foods and um, and not feeling deprived. Because if you're like me, this is so me. Like if someone says, okay, you can't have coffee for a week, I crave nothing but coffee. Like that I literally focus on it and I'm like, oh, I need my coffee, I need my coffee. And all because that person said no. But I never think that way on a daily basis, like, oh my gosh, I have to have my coffee. It's just, you know, I do have it, but I don't obsess over it. And, um, and so that's why she talks about how, you know, you can have, you know, your wine and your chocolates or your bread. And it's all about the mindset of that food and, you know, what it does for you. How do you feel with it? What did your body do when you ate it? Was it a positive response? Was it a negative response? And it's about journaling. And um, it's just, it's just a really great intro program. So that's going to roll out, I want to say April, but I could be wrong on that. Um, the bars roll out. I see a lot of people shaking their heads. They seem to, you know, yes, April. I'm excited about the bars. We had P90X bars for years. They probably were not the healthiest bars on the market, which is why we no longer have them. But we consume bar after bar here in this household. I buy two to three boxes a week for my boys, and I cannot wait for these Beachbody bars to roll out. Um, they're under 150 calories. They have 10 grams of protein, four grams of fiber, um, less than I believe five grams of sugar so it's a healthy bar it is um, economically priced to those on the market and it helps with you know your volume and you get a discount it can ship directly to your house so those are also going to be released in April the two flavors are cherry almond chocolate and chocolate peanut butter so those, they both sound great to me 
Um, just don't want to forget anything. Okay, couple last things before I bring on our guest speaker. Goals, 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 goals. Um, every year, we talk about it throughout the whole year. One of the things, and I've talked about this for the last 10 years or more, my husband and I usually, it's the week after Christmas and before New Year's, um, we go on a special date night where we have written out our goals separately and we come together over a nice dinner and he shares his goals and I share mine and we cover five categories. We talk about finance, um, fitness, health, family, spiritual, and then our business. And, um, and we just roll out those goals and we just kind of want to be on the same page with each other. And um, yes, we do work together on a daily basis, but I suggest this type of planning and goal setting for every couple. He can have his business and his goals and he goes to work every day or he travels or whatever, but you can support him and him reaching his goals and he can support you when he knows what you are working for. So it's not too late. Yes, it might be after January 1st, but uh, Robert and I are actually having our goal setting dinner tomorrow night. Um, I'm excited to talk to him and kind of just see where he is thinking that 2018 is going to go for us. And I'm excited for to share with him what um, I have come up with. So I really want to hear that you guys are setting big goals in those five categories as well. Um, again, they are, and I never have them in a great order, but finance, family, fitness or health, um, business, and spiritual. Um, five categories there. So <clears throat> one of the, um, I have a, a word that I think I'm going to have be our hashtag word for Fit Legacy, and that is connected. I want us to focus on being connected in 2018, whether that's connected with your challengers, connected with your upline sponsor and your diamond sponsor, connected with the Fit Legacy team page, connected by going to local events, going to summit. Um, sorry, y'all. I don't know why my phone is doing that. Um, <clears throat> just staying connected because when we pull away from that connection, we, I just can tell you this straight up, your business will start to decline. You'll start to not know where your challengers and your coaches are. You'll start to not even know where maybe Beachbody's going in general. But the more connected you are, the more information you are empowered with, the more control you have over your business, the more you're able to help your team, help your challengers. And um, I'm making it a top priority that I stay connected to you guys as well. I plan to be pushing out a lot more training, um, basic training to help all coaches, because I know a lot of you have brought on some coaches who are thinking about being a coach, but not quite sure because they don't want to feel overwhelmed. And so I want to set up some basic training um, so that they can come on board and feel successful and not overwhelmed. Um, I have a 500 PB training that's going to roll out shortly and um, all kinds of great things in the works for you guys to feel connected and be successful. So what does 2018 look like? And um, I have heard our next, our guest speaker, Jamie Ganey, talk about vision casting, like almost every conversation that I'm in with her. And I'm, I'm like, what is this vision casting? Like, I'm like, I need this book. I want to know about it. I have an idea, but I want to hear it in her words. And so she has had an incredible year already. She has signed up nine coaches since January 1st. They were past, I think many of them are past challengers. She's going to explain that and talk about how, you know, how she, help those coaches, how does she help those challengers take the next step into coaching? And then she's going to also explain how she vision casts. So, um, Jamie, you go ahead and unmute yourself and feel free to take the floor. Hey, 
Thanks, Melissa. Um, yeah. You know, it's funny um, hearing you talk about that meeting that you and Robert have every year. I remember hearing you talk about that last year, and um, my husband and I did that for the first time last year, and we are also having our meeting tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, it, it works out well for us because our anniversary is um, about this time of the year, so we always just do it over our anniversary dinner, and it ends up being really fun. But um, vision casting is funny because for those of you that know me, I am not like – that word scares me. <laughs> it always has like goal setting, vision casting. I like to be given a list and I like to be told what to do, something that I can check off. And so for years, I feel like I um, did not see the value in goal setting and vision casting just because it was so vague. I was like, there's, but what do I do with this? I don't, I never knew how to make a goal and convert it, like break it down into action steps. And really, um, I mean, I have coaching to thank for all the personal development I've been exposed to. And I remember about a year ago, Robert doing a call just about like, what does it look like to set goals? And what are kind of the basic principles of that? And so I have, um, I guess, found some really um, favorite tools of mine for vision casting and goal setting. And just like Melissa mentioned, um, a lot of them, I mean, they ha it has to do with every area in my life. Like business is just one facet of that. I am going to give you a, a business example, but I want to um, kind of, I mean, the main tools I use are the 12 week yearbook. I'm sure most of you have heard that before. And I kind of apply it to um, the tool that I use for goal setting. But um, the, the book that I use, it's kind of a goal planner is called power sheets and laura casey is the um, creator of that um this is all stuff like i can put in a post on fit legacy page later um if you want but um this has just been something that's been very helpful for me the way she does her goal setting um she has a whole like free blog series on it so that if you don't want to actually buy the power sheets planner like she walks you through it but um i'm looking at my notes here so i can stay on track but um, basically, um, she starts you out looking at your bigger vision for your life, really, and just kind of breaks it down from there. And so I want to give you my business example. I have to start with kind of the bigger vision and just kind of explain the process a little bit. And then I'll get to how this um, informed signing all these coaches up and how it all got to that action step. But basically um, she encourages that you pick a word for your year, which um, seems like the first time I kind of read or learned that concept totally overwhelmed me. Like I'm like, I've got to decide on just one word for the full year. I'm a writer. I have a master's in English and always struggled with being concise. Like I'm just very, very wordy, but um, the process she puts you through to kind of get to that word it just a word or a concept will end up standing out. And she just says, you know, don't think about the whole year. Just think about the season you're in, like what's ahead. And so um, last year, my word was delight. This year it is give. And kind of how I've focused that word is just, I want to focus on giving time, grace, and words um, in every area of my life this year. And um, some of that applies more to, you know, family relationships some some of it definitely applies to this business um and kind of one area that it applies to the business so breaking it down a little bit more is one of my goals is to um give intense focus to whomever i'm with wherever i am whatever i have like in this moment i want to be fully there i don't want to be constantly multitasking i want to be fully present if I'm talking to a challenger, I don't want to be thinking about the next challenger that I need to check off my list that I need to talk to. I don't want to just always be working from a list, even though I am very list oriented. I want to see each individual person that I'm talking to. And um, same thing, like when I'm spending time with my boys, I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. Like I want them to have me, you know, I want to be fully there and not, not try to be doing a million things at once. So um, like that falls into that giving of time and really giving um, focus time, which applies to, um, I just wrote like give intense focus for one goal. 
Um, and kind of like the way she breaks that down, you write, well, okay, so that's my goal to give intense focus. Well, why? What is my why behind that goal? Um, I think that's really important that we determine that. And I just said, I want to work smarter on the income producing activities that matter in this business versus doing work that makes me feel like I'm doing something. Um, this will require diligence and consistently stepping out of my comfort zone. So that's my why for that goal. Like I, I have to, um, I want to work smarter on these IPAs, not just to make money, but to, to really be doing what matters to be like, I love Melissa's hashtag connected to really connect with people and to help other people. Um, because if I'm just wanting to feel good about myself and the fact that I'm doing something, I can feel my time and my day doing plenty and it not be the most important things, the vitals, you know, for our business. And so what, like the next question that she asked is, so what's the positive effect that taking action on this goal may have, you know, just kind of identifying how will this goal that you have change you and others. And so I wrote business growth. I'm going to help more people. And I'm going to connect more to others. So I even use that word. Um, the next question is, how will I feel at the end of this year, having made progress on this goal? And I wrote fulfilled and committed, stretched, grown, exhausted, in a good way, um, proud and invested. And so another thought, just as your goal setting is, how will I know I accomplished or made progress on this goal? Or what does progress look like in this goal? So we have to identify you know, especially with our business goals. Um, I think um, the company does an outstanding job of providing those benchmarks for us, like to be able to track, are we making um, progress on these goals that we've set? What does it look like if you're striving for elite? What does that mean? If you're shooting for a certain rank, what does that mean? Um, and then there's just like a place where you write encouraging words. And so something you can look at daily. Um, for me, scripture is very important. So I wrote Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. And then I love this one because I'm not very good at this. Um, she encourages you to think through, how will I celebrate making progress on this goal or completing this goal? And so one of the things um, for one of my business goals I wrote is I would like to be able to host and pay for a retreat for all of my coaches. Like that's, that's how I would celebrate that is, okay, well, let's all go on a retreat. And you know, um, being able to do that because of the growth of my business. And then also in a year from now, my husband and I will be celebrating our 10 year anniversary. I would like to be able to go on a trip with him, you know, for our 10 year anniversary as a, as a result of some business goals. So, um, and then she also says like, write down resources or people to ask for guidance. And y'all, we have so many resources. We have the Hudgens, we have our coach office, um, you know, the trainings for if you're looking to hit elite or premier that Kim Carver will be doing. Like we, we have plentiful resources. And so just identifying where will we go to um, help us reach these goals. And then you write out your starting steps, your actual action steps for doing these things. Um, and so one of my goals that has to do with um, business growth, um, specifically, I want to develop a little more as a leader with my team of coaches and I want to grow my team. Obviously, that's, that's what a lot of us are doing if we're um, wanting to grow our businesses. And so um, one of my action steps for that was to communicate my vision and my goals for our team to the team of coaches that attended our coach retreat that we had this last weekend. There were um, five or six of us that got together throughout the weekend um, before the Super Sunday event here in Dallas. And we talked about what our vision, we talked about what does it mean to, like what does Premier mean? What does Elite mean? What does all this ranking stuff mean? We literally, I just opened my computer. We went to my coach office and we looked at the video that explains the leadership ladder. Like we just talked about all these benchmarks. Um, and so that was one of my action steps that I could do this month is communicate that vision, helping our team understand what are these goals mean? Like what are we striving to do together and why does it benefit us all together? Like these aren't Jamie's goals. These aren't, you know, just one person's goals. These are team goals. 
And so another action step that I wrote down was just consistent coach training, like having FaceTime with my team of coaches every week. And, you know, just different ways, we brainstorm different ways that each of them um, is mentored well and that we can connect again. Um, and then kind of lastly, um, and Melissa, this was one of the last things she told me before she went on her trip was um, just to really focus on those 12 week goals and break down. Okay, so if I want to reach this by the end of 2018, what do I need to do January to March? Like what in that first quarter do I need to be focused on? And so I really broke down that in terms of business goals and um, even broke it down even farther based on what I wanted to accomplish in January. And so part of my goal for January, um, and let me pause real quick and just say, Melanie Mitro has a really great podcast where she talks about how to reverse engineer your goals. At our um, team retreat this past weekend, we took time to listen to it. It was like 18 minutes long and I just played it on my phone. We listened to it took notes. Um, I strongly encourage you to do that because she really just breaks down. Her example is, you know, if by the end of 2018, you want to earn a thousand dollars a week, um, or maybe it's a thousand dollars. Um, yeah, I think it is a, a week, um, or a month. Um, she breaks down. So how, what are you shooting to do by the middle of the year? And what are you shooting to do by the first quarter? And what does that mean for January? What does it mean for right now? And just how to kind of, balance and deal with the tension, you know, as you reach those goals and determining um, just your progress on that. So it's really great stuff. And so that's really what I started um, doing whenever I set my goals for January. And so I just decided I want to add five new coaches to um, either my like personally sponsored coaches or to my husband's business center. And um, one of my goals is to help his business center reach diamond. And so a while back um, with Melissa and Robert's guidance, they were encouraging me to add some customers to, uh, or some coaches to his account. And so um, that was my goal was five new coaches between the two of our accounts, um, our two business centers. And as of today, there are nine that we've signed up between the two of us. Um, and I know that sounds impressive, but really, I was thinking about this today, just about how I wanted to share this. One, it was not that hard and it was something I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> like it's, it, it was setting these goals and realizing why have I not talked to this person and, and talked to them in this way, considering their goals. Like it's, so I don't want you to be impressed by, Oh, she signed nine coaches in the past week. Like, if I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, they probably would have become coaches a lot sooner. So it's just a matter of actually putting, like actually implementing the things that we are told by everybody that we should be doing. Um, you know, that's obviously the hard part is actually doing it. We can plan and vision cast and goal set, but it's actually doing it. And so that's all that I've been doing the past, you know, eight days is I've, been taking action on these things. And so what that looked like, these nine coaches um, are all very, um, every story is different, obviously. It's not like one thing worked with all of them or like they all have different stories. They all have different, um, different lengths of time that they have been, um, that they've been customers or challengers. Um, some of them, you know, they signed up as a challenger and a coach for the first time ever. Um, but, you know, Melissa asked me this morning, you know, share how you did this. And I can sum it up really into two main things. And I'll break this down afterwards. But two principles is I trusted the company and the system that's in place um, and the tools that we've been given with 80 Day of Session. Um, and I created a plan and implemented it. Like, that's really the two things. Um, and so I remember a year ago in a couple of months um, being on one of my first team calls with the Hudgens and Robert and Melissa talking to us about core to force and just um, really stressing like if the company puts out a program, like let's be a product of the product and try the program. Like let's, let's do this. And you know, this whole um, idea of 
being in this test group and just like their guidance through all of that. It was just eye opening for me in so many ways because at the time I was, um, I'd fallen in love with Pio. I'd become a Pio instructor and I was doing that for workouts. You know, I was trying to teach as many classes in a week as I could and I wasn't being a product of the product. I was not doing a program from start to finish and um, it was affecting my business. And so, um, that really was a game changer for me just in how I viewed the company and my belief in the company and just seeing through the past year, obviously like the company is not perfect, but our belief in the company matters and it needs to be strong. And we need to trust that when they put out something, we need to try it and we need to rally behind that and um, come together for that. So that's all I did. I, um, started December 1st, whenever we got all the details about 80 day obsession, I did exactly what I forget the guy's name. Um, I think it was Kim Carver with him on the national wake up call, but they said, you know, start with your current customers and coaches and talk to them about 80 day obsession. And then like, then go to new challengers. Like they just laid it out. And that's all I did was I started, um, sharing about the 80 day obsession program based on exactly what I was told on a national wake up call. And so by the time December 14th came around, I even used the tracker sheets that they gave us on the Beachbody Champions page. By the, and by the time December 14th rolled around, there were people ready to sign up. Um, I don't remember what, how many people signed up, but um, I think I was, it was maybe like SC16 in December. If you added up like the customers from my account and my husband's account. And I still have people who, just have taken longer, but we've been in conversation since the beginning of December, but who are, who are joining, um, to do this program and joining just to, maybe they're not wanting to do 80 day, day obsession yet, but they're wanting to do another program. And I kind of have my challenge group set up that way. So I have people who are joining with no intention even of ever doing 80 day obsession, but they're getting started on their journey. And so, um, then um, Melissa's through again her guidance just listening and really doing what I'm told to do um, I waited and starting the new year I started reaching out to people um, people who had been customers before but had kind of fallen off um, but got behind this idea of this new program and were excited about it and so I just began asking people um, some who had only been a challenger for a couple of weeks who'd signed up December 14th, I just began asking them, um, how are you liking your shakes? And I, I make it a goal to, especially new challengers, I talk to them every few days and then at least once a week. And so I'd been talking to them and we got to talking about Shakeology and I just asked, how are you liking this? Do you think you'll continue on your shakes? You know, what differences are you seeing? Just kind of helping them identify um, the role that Shakeology plays. And then just basically talking to them about um, coaching and what is coaching and asking, um, especially those who I think would make great coaches, just pointing out traits in them that I see and genuinely complimenting them and saying, have you ever considered this? Like, you are such a kind person. You're always so encouraging. Um, I, that's why I think you would be great at coaching. And of course, so many people think coaching is selling. Like, they don't see... Um, what it can be and what they could make it. And so just being able to help them identify, you have traits that would make you a great coach because you are this way. And most of them, I believe um, seven or eight of the nine that signed up um, said, no, I don't want to coach like, or not right now, or let me be a challenger first. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that, um, that the timing's right. I've got too much I'm juggling and, I just would respond and say, you know, I totally get that. And I respect you wanting to be wise and discerning with your time. Um, but you don't have to coach if you don't want to, like you don't have to build a business out of this. Um, and I just would explain, um, you know, that there's different ways to coach. Like you can pursue it as a full-time business. You can pursue it as a part-time business, as a hobby, or you can enjoy a discount and be considered, um, you know, a loyalty customer. And I love using that term again, something that the Hudgens taught me um, just to, I just basically told, cause then they would say, well, do I have to sell so much every month in order to get that discount? Do I, is there a fee if I cancel? And I basically was able to explain, no, it's, it's basically the company's way of saying thank you for using these products every month. 
thank you for being a loyal customer. It's, it's just a way to for that. And so um, they, they were on board. I mean, almost everyone I've asked then was like, well, yeah, I, if, I, if it's going to save me money every month, I know I'm going to continue on the shakes, um, then yeah, I would love to do that. And obviously this is still very fresh, but back when I first started growing my business and um, I, I would sign up a lot of coaches with like, you know, I would say, do you want to be a discount coach when they would first sign up as a challenger? And I was using that discount coach language. And um, so many of them were signing up because they were like, yeah, okay, um, I'll save money. And, but then they, they weren't following in love with the products and I probably was not walking with them well early on. Um, and so then they would fall off. And so I, I just feel like, um, I started, I wasn't building a very strong, um, business and foundation. Like they weren't in love with the process. They weren't in love with their products. And, um, because of that, like, it's just, it was a very shaky foundation for my business. But now I just see a lot of value in like talking to people and finding out like, do you love these products? And they may be like, no, I don't want to coach. Like, that's not for me. I don't know. It might, it might not be for them, but because they love our challenge group, they love the community. They even love like what my team stands for. Um, they're, they seem to be more apt to, yeah, like, I see what this is about. I don't think I'll ever coach, but I, I would love to, you know, I would love to be considered a loyalty customer and get this discount. And again, only time will tell um, how that will pan out with, with each of them. And it will be a different story with each of them. But um, it's just been very eye-opening for me to um, just to have those conversations. And instead of assuming that people won't do it, just to go ahead and invite and to invite, you know, to them being a business building coach and then sharing that there are other options with that. And so, um, again, I think all of that just ties back to, um, oh, and one thing I do is regardless of what they say their interest is in coaching, I always send every new coach the same email, um, showing them how they can get started if they ever do want to look into the business. And with these coaches that have said, um, I'm not sure if I would ever work the business or not. Um, I just, when I send that email, I, I write a note at the beginning and I say, um, I know that you, you said you don't want to look into the business side of things right now, but I just reiterate why I think they would be good at it. And I say, um, if, and when you ever change your mind or you want to look into it more, this email is the place to start. And it's got like all the starting steps for you. So I treat every, um, every new member on our team the same way and I tell them there's always a place for them no matter what season of life they're in and what degree of involvement they want to have um, like there's a place for them so um, but again I think I think it just goes back to um, trusting the company our belief in the company and the system and the tools they give us and then just creating a plan and implementing it so that's all I got Melissa I thought it was great a um, couple of things that really stood out to me um, were the fact that you didn't create a new wheel, a new training program that was a huge success. You used what was already out there for not only you, but for everybody. Um, and that you also just really stayed in touch with them. You know, I like the fact that we've all signed up discount coaches right at the beginning and they have fallen off because they were really just in it to try it first. And, and, you know, maybe it just wasn't right for them. And maybe, you know, like you said, the season of life had changed for them. What I liked about what you did here is that they were on the product for two weeks um, some a little longer, but, um, and they had the opportunity to really understand, like, I like Shakeology a lot. Yes, I see me drinking this a lot longer, so I'm going to entertain this idea. Um, I also like the fact that you address the fact that they said no, you know, almost all of them, except for maybe two, had basically said no, but you took that objection and worked through it with each one, showing them how they could find their place. And 
I think so many of us, when we hear the word no, whether they're like, you know, no, it's the beginning of the year, I got a lot going on, we back away and we're like, oh, okay. But a lot of times it's just because they're just still misinformed. They're still not understanding what that really means to be a beach body coach and how it's, it can mean a lot of different things. And um, so I, I love that training and um, I, I, just, I got a lot out of it. So I, I think it's important. I hope you guys heard that she sends a new coach email to each coach that signs up. Um, I also, hopefully that you heard that she stays in, she really stays connected with those challengers all the way through, you know, talking to them twice a week, whether it's probably through text or messaging or actually physically talking to them. So, um, thank you so much for sharing. I really would love for you in the chat right now, if you could post, um, who those goal sheets are from, I missed that part. And so I couldn't, I mean, I was writing, I, I just couldn't get the name down quick enough. Um, so that would be great. Does anybody have any questions? They can put it in the chat if you have any questions. Um, and then, uh, okay, so could you give us like a price real quick before we look that up? Um, is she very expensive to get those sheets from? The, yeah. um, the full, like you can get a full um, dated 12 month um, planner and that's $55, I think. Um, but you can also get like a six month undated one and I'm not sure the price of the, those, but I'm, I'm assuming it's about half of that. And it walks you through those questions, right? Yes. And if you, um, if you go to, I'll type this just Laura, LauraCasey.com. Um, she does every year, like between December, I don't know, it's like mid-December and January 1st. She does a goal-setting series that's free on her blog. All of that is on there right now. Um, it, it is easier to do it if you have the actual power sheets, but, um, but you, can, you can accomplish some of the same concepts just from her blog. Okay, perfect. Also, um, the 12-week year has a website that also has worksheets on it that are somewhat similar in wording to what um, this lady does. It sounds like it is a male side versus female side. I think that always makes a little bit of a difference. But um, there are worksheets to that book as well. And I have used those and printed those off before, especially if you were in the book club um, that we had last year. Um, okay, well, thank you guys. I don't wanna keep going. I know we've, we've been on 45 minutes and I wanna respect your time. Again, I just want to say thank you for coming on these calls. We want to make them valuable. Um, and we'll host another one in February. And I will be continuing to go live on the team page with little nuggets of training. And one of them, I, this week, I'm going to let you guys know all the different places where you can get discounts because you are a Beachbody coach including um, there are all kinds of cool stores that you probably didn't even know that you could get big discounts from. So I'll be putting those um, together and doing a little training on that. Something kind of fun. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. We really appreciate your time. You did a fantastic training. Um, real quick, we have most of you still on here. I did take a picture. Some of you weren't probably loving the way that you looked because you might have been like going like this or something. So um, just look at the camera. And I'm just going to take a screenshot here. Um, one, two, three. Okay, great. Great. I'm going to post that right now. And I just um, want to say, you know, Happy New Year. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, you guys.